Hello again, everyone. Welcome once again to Keep Calm and Game. I'm Cap, and I wanted to do a little short video today for you on ghost rallies. So, if you watched the first video about the UAC, which thank you very much if you did, you would have noticed that we talked a little bit about ghost rallies. Um, thank you ever so much as well for the comments, really appreciated them. And some of the things that came up, and people wanted a bit more meat on the bone, a bit more information about ghost rallies and what they are. Um, particularly some of the more experienced players thought it would be useful to have a little short snappy video uh, to send to new players so that they can know what a ghost rally is. Uh, I for one definitely wish that someone had told me about ghost rallies when I first started. I remember the first time I came across it I was up against quite an experienced player. I was hmm, six months in, something like that. I'd got to the stage where I was quite happy, thought I was barely big balls. Um, I'd got some reasonable stats for the size of my castle um, and was going up against a guy who was a, a level down from me. So I thought, yeah, no problem. Full march, burning the hell out of him, nothing. Wasn't killing a thing and I was so confused about it. Next thing I know, while my airship's out, he's hitting me, killed all of my troops that were in the castle. And I was like, what the hell? Um, yeah, anyway, that was a learning curve for me. Hopefully this video means that that won't happen to you. Um, so let's get into it and I can give you a bit more information on what they are. Um, so uh, you'll notice a couple of rallies going there already. Showing my inexperience, we're doing this video malarkey. Um, I only went and did the whole of this video once already, only to realise that my microphone wasn't turned on. <laughs> well. I suppose at least I've been through it once already. Uh, so, we're using the same farm castle that we used for the UAC. And the first thing I guess to mention is that when you, the, the purpose of the rally. So the, the purpose of the ghost rally, as the name suggests, is to hide all of your troops, to ghost your troops. So that when somebody attacks you, you don't get any losses. Um, unless there's some that are still left in the castle. But if they're, if your troops are in a rally, then they can't be killed, um, is, I suppose, really what we're trying to get at here. Now, when you select a castle to rally, um, no doubt if you have been playing for a little while now, then you'll have noticed, um, and you, you'll have probably, you'd have definitely taken part in some rallies, and you may have even set some up, probably definitely done some red camps, I would have thought. So obviously when you click on the rally, you've got four options. You can do the five minutes, the 15 minutes, the 30 minutes, or one hour. No doubt you're probably nearly always doing five minutes. If you're in a slightly smaller alliance where there's a few less of you, then maybe you're doing the 15 or 30 minutes, but predominantly we're all doing five minute rallies. The important thing about the ghost rally is that when you set the ghost rally, you want to click on one hour because you want it for the longest time possible. Because don't forget that the purpose of this is not to actually rally the castle that you're rallying. It's just to hide your troops, nothing else. Um, when you hit set, you would then hit march. Now that hides the troops. So for anybody who now attacks you, you'll show as not having any troops. Equally, it will show if somebody scouts you as well as having no troops. Um, quite a handy way to know. Uh, in the last UAC, we had it quite a lot uh, where it's quite handy having uh, your farms in your own alliance sometimes. Uh, people were rallying my farm and um, obviously I could see that they were rallying me. Also, if you click on the alliance tab and go into war, it will also show you any rallies that are going on at the moment so you can see there the rally that i've put on that particular castle if that castle was in an alliance they would also be able to see that i was rallying that castle if that makes sense so um, that's just a bit of information really i guess to to let you know how to spot them um, the really handy thing about them rallying my castle was i could then teleport my castle and then get my main to hit them just after i teleport then unhiding their troops and then I could kill them all. Uh, so that was somebody who was already doing the ghost rally. That's kind of a, a way around it. Um, but that's not the purpose of today. So the purpose of today is really to show you how to set them, what to do. Um, so you can see that I rallied that castle. Now I'm going to disband that. And what you'd also do is for that hour, once that starts to get 
down to like 10, 15 minutes, maybe five minutes, that you would then just reset the rally and redo it again. If you let it run down to zero, then you will march on that castle. Um, so obviously the purpose is to hide the troops, so you don't want to be doing that. Um, so I'm going to go, I'm going to set up another rally um, because something that came out of the last video that I did and when people were saying it'd be really handy to have a little short video about ghost rallies um, to send to sort of new players and people that don't know about them already. Um, one of the people in my kingdom, a couple of them actually, were saying about the video um, and then Lenta, someone from my kingdom, was saying what I do is I split my rallies into sections which I thought, yeah, that's quite a handy thing. And I think subconsciously I do that anyway. Um, but something that I did think was really handy that showed you or showed me was that you can leave a few cavalry spare. Um, now, typically what I would do is set up rallies. And then when I want one cavalry to go into a tower or something like that, then I would just unrally all of the troops, send the one cavalry and then rehide my troops. But actually, when you think about that, that exposes your troops particularly this is handy if you have got quite an aggressive castle in uac if you've got a few really aggressive castles that are also maybe a bit stronger than you then they'll be attacking you a lot trying to kill all your troops so you don't want to be unrallying to then get a cavalry and then there's a possibility that your troops might die the easiest way is just to show you i guess because that probably sounds more complicated than it actually is so Let's pretend that we're in UAC. We're going to rally. We're going to set it for one hour. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to take five of the cavalry off. Now, then we're going to set march. So that's hidden those troops. So now if someone was to scout or attack me, the only troops would, that would die would be those five cavalry. Now, what you would then also do is you would put those five cavalry into a rally as well. There's no harm in doing that. Now, the reason that I'm showing you that and the reason that you can do that is let's say that we now want to send our full march to a building to clear that building. So we disband it because we've had a little look around. We've done some scouting and now we know which building we want to attack. So let's say that we were to attack them. Now our troops are just getting back. So the troops get back from the main march. We've cleared a building and we reset the rally. So we reset the rally for our full march, or our strongest march, and now they're hidden again. Now what we can do is we can unhide our cavalry, our five cavalry. But there's no danger if they die, they die. You're not too bothered about that. But you could be hit at this point when you're switching rallies, if that makes sense. So if you were to get hit, the worst that's going to happen is you'll lose five cavalry. You then send your one cavalry to a building. And what you would then do is rehide the other four or however many you choose to do. The great thing about that is let's say that that one cavalry die and then you want to send. It might be that one of your alliance members clears a building for you. It might be that you re-clear the building. You've now got that rally with your cavalry there that you can just call on like that because Ultimately, in UAC, speed is definitely of the essence. So if you wanted to use that cavalry again, you just disband the rally and then send your one cavalry again. Um, and I mean, and, and that's it. It's, it's literally as simple as that. That is ghost rallies. So it's creating rallies that you've got no intention of actually going ahead just to hide your troops. Um, I hope that this has been somewhat useful. If it has been, then please subscribe to the page. There'll be more videos like this coming out. And if there, if you can think of any ideas or you, you can think of anything that you think, yeah, I'd quite like Cat to do a video on this, then definitely put a comment in and I'll see what I can do. For now, let's keep having fun, keep calm and game as it were, and I will see you shortly. Thanks. Cheers.